Hey YouTube, BM here. Just doing a little update from yesterday after figuring out the new light setup. Looking good, I like it. Got it all programmed. I got the 10K so they kick on. They'll run a few hours and then the 67Ks will come on for, I got it for 8 hours. Um, I'll try that for now. And they'll shut off, and the and the 10Ks will stay on for a little bit. And then the moonlights will kick on after that. So it's pretty cool. You can really mess with it. If um, I mean it's only two bulbs at a 67K, so I don't think that's a lot. And like I said, I can always change it up, uh, change bulbs, change um, change the programming. There's a lot of options, but I like it. Um, it really brightens it up. A couple things I like about it. I like how it fits. And uh, I messed with this earlier. I actually got my CO2 coming through here, so it actually works almost like a little slide here. I got everything so it goes right past everything. Well, you can slide it back to get in there and do whatever you got to do, water changes and stuff, and just so user friendly. It's a nice, nice setup. Pull it right back out there, flush. Change the CO2 today. That finally ran out. One thing I like about this, yeah, it's a lot brighter. I can actually see what's going on in there. I, I, I see stuff that I didn't notice before. Like, look at this shoot coming right out of the middle of this Anubius. I mean, I, I don't know. I just never noticed it. Um, got another big old shoot coming out of this sword right here. Look at that sucker. But everything's doing good. Everything's really nice and green. This really allows me to see how green everything really is. And red. Grass is doing good. I did cut it again today. Did another water change. Hasn't even been a week, but nobody says you have to wait a week. You want to keep your tank looking good, take care of it. But that's uh this suck has been melting. It has nothing to do with the light. It's been like this for the past week. I don't know what's going on. I'm just gonna let it run its course, but it's all melting away. Everything else is doing awesome. I mean it's just I got lucky, I mean Fairly new with the plants, and, uh, and I got lucky as far as the balance and algae, and hopefully the lights won't screw it up. But like I said, I can always mess with it and tone it down if I have to. But that wisteria just popping, that thing's just out of control. Everything's doing really good. All the fish are doing good. Garamis, they were just chasing each other around the tree. It was funny. They stopped as soon as you break out the camera. You guys know how that is. But everybody else is doing really good. I did nick my big leave right there with the scissors earlier. Oh, there you can see it. Getting in there with the weed whacker, you know. Nicked one of my bushes. I got some holes in it still. I've been using the potassium. I don't know what's going on. And you guys know how to get rid of them. Let me know. Got it kind of up front as a showpiece, and uh, of course, me nicking the leaves don't help much either. But so that's that. This is how bright it is. I mean, all the lights are on right now, and it used to look like that. I mean, that's a lot smaller, but 
were the same brightness. Now you don't even see this little guy over here. I did uh, maintenance this today as well. Well, I cut the grass and I did a water change. Oh, there's my shrimp. Didn't see them when I did a water change. Didn't see any of them. Put them yellow ones in here the other day. I ain't seen them since. Look at that bush. Shrimp are probably lost in that thing somewhere. That thing's pretty thick and gnarly. I love it. Everything else too is like a jungle in there. Look at that. No CO2. Just uh, all natural. Doing good. I'm gonna have to start. I gotta trim some of that up too. That's my floater right there. My water sprite. But the cope is doing good. Just gotta get in here and do a little trimming. Anyways, guys. Thanks for watching.